Very early in his career, Uriah Faber said he will be a champion one day. He has massive potential. I had lunch with Wayne Ludwig, and he talked to me in depth about strategy and movement and all the things that TJ needs to do. He thinks he can get it done, and we're about to find out. Henan Barrow is so dynamic, the way he moves, the, the distance he covers so quickly, the power in his strikes, his confidence, his creativity inside the octagon. Everything he does is world class. There's not a single flaw in his game. 34 professional wins, fourth title defense, Henan Barrow. I think the keys to success against Barrow are believing in myself and, and not being scared of the guy. You know, instead of being hesitant of how good he is, just act like I'm sparring my teammates. Just relax. T.J. Dillashaw, Kenan Burrell. Here we go! Good right kick right away by T.J. You get these combos instilled into your brain just from doing them over and over again, and when you see it, you go for it, and you don't really think about it. You know what I mean? That's the last thing you want to do is think about the combos you're going to hit in the octagon. You just want to react. He tagged him. He tagged him again. Thank you. Take your time. Take your time. Nice counter by Barrow, though. Good straight right counter. This is what I was hoping we would see from TJ. Him rise to the occasion, and so far he's done so. Oh! When you land a really big shot like that, it feels like you don't, you don't even hit anything. It's almost like you hit air. Way to watch. That's what champions do. Wow! Burrell's in big trouble. He's in big, Dylan big Shaw trouble. looking to become the champion. He's got to be careful. Burrell's going for his leg. He's got his knee out. Oh, he tagged him again. Watch out. TJ's got Burrell's back. Looking to lock it in. Go, go. Look at this. Can he finish his fight? No, Burrell turned into the choke beautifully. Wow. And it's Burrell. Burrell is in all sorts of trouble. Survives round one. TJ Dillashaw is ready for a title shot? I would say so. <laughs> Thank you. Can you do this for a little bit more? Thank you. you excellent timing, excellent setups. Don't do like strength punches with him right now. You got to start throwing that front kick to keep him back. Your forework is confusing me. I need to keep doing this. That's all you have to do, baby. Hannah Burrell survived that big knockdown, and we start round two. And TJ does not want to get irresponsible looking to become the champion too early. TJ, back him up, baby. Back him up, baby. Back him up. Dillashaw's got to be careful here, Mike, because he's starting to disregard the power of Henning Brown. Just wade forward. Oh, round two was Henning's best round. He definitely got his stuff together after getting knocked down and uh, got his head clear and knew that he had a sense of urgency. Stay on him, TJ! I definitely wanted to go all out and finish the fight, but you know, Dwayne's done a great job of teaching controlled aggression. But Rao is getting tagged. This is crazy. Thank you. Go, go, go. Again to the head. Masterful job by TJ Dillashaw of mixing things up. Two rounds in the book for the challenger. Amazing. What are you going to give me more of? Switch cross, same side kick? Yes, yeah, so we'll switch cross, take left kick. Okay? Deep breath. Round three. What's interesting is this is the round they want to TJ to turn it up. They believe that Burrell starts to slow down around the third. Never, TJ, never! Every, every round I went out, I respected who he was as a fighter and knew that he was very dangerous and didn't want to relax. Oh, beautiful leg kick. He was slowing down and I was speeding up. You know, I just, uh, I built off the momentum and my cardio is, is awesome. I mean, he is teeing off on Burrell. Burrell's right there, though. It was a nice kick by Burrell. Shake it out! Boom! 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 Tagged him again. Head kick! Oh! TJ Dillashaw is dominating 
a guy who everybody thought is the best pound for pound fighter on the planet. This is amazing. Herb Dean did a good job and realized I didn't poke him in the eye. Herb Dean says, keep fighting. I just continued to throw a combo on him. He wanted to break and I didn't give it to him. We are seeing the emergence of a great fighter. I'd say at the end of the third round, I knew I had the fight won. I could see it in his eyes. He went back to his corner, like scratching his head, didn't know what the heck was going on. Yeah! 3 0. 3 0, baby. Thank you! What I tell you? You just gotta go touch a poor return. Yes, sir. Keep doing it. Let's go, T Dad, be in the game. Smart. Here we go. Championship rounds in the Bantamweight division. TJ decides to try to take him down. I definitely felt a whole lot stronger than him in the octagon. You know, I don't know if it was the cardio base or just the physical attributes. This is crazy. I mean, TJ looks like a world-class kickboxer. Give me some BMT, baby! Thank you! Oh, straight oh, left! Another one. Morrell trying to survive and counter. And another combination. Morrell's in trouble. I instantly thought in my head, you didn't throw a spinning back kick. I kind of like smiled, laughed. There you go, have fun! Sure enough, like 10 seconds later, there was a spinning back kick. I countered him. I think that, that, that's the reason why I performed the way I did is because I was having so much fun. Everyone looks at this guy as one of the best pound for pound fighters we've ever seen in MMA. And a guy like TJ Dillashaw rises to that occasion. This is what I love most about fights. Ele tá ganhando. He's winning the fight. Agora é o seguinte. This is the last round. Vai pra pegar o You are a ninja, my friend. You're banging with Tyson. Keep it up, baby. You got to go and knock him out, submit him, or you're going to lose this fight. Everything or nothing. Give him a, give him a seminar for him. Cool. We're not even going to charge him. Cool. Great give line. him a seminar. We're, We're not, not even, even going to charge, charge him. him. Fifth and final round. Andre Pettinero is quite clear to say, dude, you got to stop this right now. Knock him out or submit him or he's going to leave with your belt. Good knee. So I knew if I wanted to be the best, I had to continue to do what I was doing. Oh! You know, Dwayne was telling me to kick his head off. I heard it. Let kick his head off. There's the kick, kick again. I put a little bit more into my kick, which led to an awesome combo that dropped him. And a stiff punch to the face of morale. Oh! Oh, oh! Looking for the finish. wish for it and you dream about it and then when it happens it's just it happens so fast everything just kind of was a blur just so excited hard work pays off that you put in the last 20 years what an incredible performance you want to talk about a kid rising to the occasion yeah i told you crazy huh told you one of the best examples i have ever seen in all my years of watching mixed martial arts tonight we saw T.J. Dillashaw reach his full potential. The new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, T.J. Dillashaw! Wow, you're the that's best, baby. That's an understatement. Let me see this thing. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. Dude, I finished it.